The Duke of Edinburgh meets the boys from Blackpool at Wembley before their cup final battle with Bolton Wanderers. From the Royal Box, Her Majesty the Queen watches the Duke shake hands with the white-shirted Wanderers who are making their fourth appearance at Wembley. Here are goalkeeper Stanley Hansen and Bolton's inside left Harold Hassel ready and waiting for the great kickoff. Princess Margaret takes her seat and Blackpool facing a slight headwind kick off. Right away, Blackpool are on the attack, but a Bolton player gets to it and tries to swing play back to the other end. Now Bolton get going smoothly. Hassel collects and passes. The ball goes to Nat Lofthouse. He shoots. Farm fumbles, and it's a goal. Bolton have drawn first blood within 90 seconds. Bolton keep up the pressure, and Blackpool defence seem far from confident now. But Shimwell gets it clear of the goal and manages to force a way through the attackers. Blackpool back, Garrett sends it up to Lofthouse, who shoots, but it hits the upright. In comes Bill Moyer, but he too cannot penetrate the defence. Moyer, Fenton and Goalie Farm scramble for it, but Fenton gets it out of danger. Blackpool swing into action again and are soon down by the Bolton goal. Stan Morrison has a slam. And in it goes. Blackpool have got the equaliser. Now Stanley Matthews takes over. He passes, but there's no goal this time, as goalie Hansen clears it away and starts a Bolton counter-attack. Eric Bell, who injured his leg earlier on, gallantly struggles after it and manages to pass it back to Langton. Langton shoots, but Farm makes a good save, and Blackpool breathe again. Bolton have looked the better team right the way through the first half. In the Blackpool goal, Farm faces a shot from Langton. He and Lofthouse miss, and there's another one. Bolton are two, Blackpool still one. Into the second half, and Blackpool begin to show some of the skill we expect of them. Stan Matthews is after it, and off he goes with a dazzling display that proves he's as good as ever he was. As he centers, Mortensen gets out of the way to let Perry shoot, but it's wider than net. Now the Wanderers get their forward machine moving again. From the right wing, Douglas Holden centers, and despite his injury, Eric Bell heads it in for Bolton's third goal. 3-1, looks all over for Blackpool. As unworried as ever, Matthew sends over a beautifully placed center. Goalkeeper Hanson tries to check it, but Stan Mortensen forces it in. Bolton three, Blackpool two. Mortensen's hurt his right leg, but wild horses couldn't keep him off the pitch at this stage of the game. Douglas Holden leads the Wanderers on an offensive. Up near the goal mouth, Lofthouse gets on with the good work. Lofthouse centers, but Goalie Farm is there to deal with the situation this time. His clearance upfield sets his teammates on another attack. There's a foul. One of the players took quite a knock, and the ref awards Blackpool a free kick. Mortensen takes it. Wham! He's done it. It's in. Blackpool and Bolton are on even terms with three goals apiece. Matthews again, giving the game everything he's got. In the Bolton goal, Hansen gets ready for work. The great little wizard has it again. A flick to centre finds Perry, who crashes it home into the Bolton net. Blackpool four, Bolton three. There's no doubt about it now. Matthews, recently ignored by the England selectors, is the man of the match. What a great reception he gets from all at Wembley as the whistle goes. Matthews, in his third cup final, is the hero of the day. Her Majesty the Queen rises to greet the two teams and to award the cup. And here come the winners, gallant Blackpool, who turned what seemed defeat into one of the most dramatic victories ever seen at Wembley. Their captain, Harry Johnston, receives the most coveted football trophy of them all. A royal congratulation for Stanley Matthews and a winner's medal at long last are fitting rewards for the most dazzling sportsman in world soccer. Queen waves a last farewell to the crowds as Harry Johnston and Stanley Matthews take the cup to Blackpool.